I was fairly new as a reporter. I'd been an editor and had managed to wangle my way out of that into being a reporter. The Kennedy administration brought new zip to the nation, to Washington, there's no doubt about it. Everybody said that he was just, just licking his lips over a, a, a campaign against Barry Goldwater, uh, which was what everybody expected to happen. I was living in Fort Worth, Texas, when John F. Kennedy, President of the United States, came to visit our city. I was a senior in high school, and during this time, it was a period of segregation. I think that he's one of the greatest speakers I ever heard. Just extemporaneous speakers that can just, just get up and speak, you know. He was, I think he was extremely smart. Whatever I liked about him, he wasn't a coward. In the beginning of my career, I was also taken out to fly the White House press charters, as they were called. He was just the same with everybody, and this is why the press loved him so. Just about the time he came out to speak, the clouds broke, and puffy white clouds and blue sky, you know, all of a sudden, it was almost like magic. And that was when it all changed. And, you know, I mean, the weather changed, it was gonna be a beautiful day, and I think that's when they decided they'd take the top off. He was one of these people that people loved him. They just wanted to touch him and be near him. He was a handsome man. The ladies loved him, the men loved him. So from a crowd standpoint, he was very difficult to protect because uh, of, the, of the desire of the public to be near him. He was the American president. He admired us for our steadfastness. I was just so proud. I felt so valued. And we were just pressed shoulder to shoulder. Everybody pushed forward. Everybody was trying to get a better glimpse of him and, and we wanted to get so close to him. My assignment was just to cover the noon speech. I think there was a f feeling that we needed to be alert along the route because there might be a demonstration or something. I, I'm still not sure anybody really thought about assassination. I was in school, I was 11 years old. Senator Melda said, everyone go home, go straight home. The, the school didn't want to tell us. They knew that he'd been shot. I don't know if they knew if he was dead or not, but they, they wanted our parents to tell us. And that's why they didn't want anybody on the street to tell you what had happened, because it was so upsetting. I know that Jack was very distraught over what had happened. And I know he closed the club, and he was, you know, upset. He thought everybody should be closed. And uh, then I was watching TV when he did it. I was standing on the corner right across from the entrance of the depository building. I'll never forget Kennedy's wave. It was kind of an acknowledgement, you know, and he turned and then right after the turn, of course, was that first horrible sound, that explosion. It all happened in the space of a few seconds, but in those few seconds, the complexion of the whole world changed. Dallas changed. History changed at that point in time. Hundreds of spectators had witnessed the assassination of the president. 